it's springtime and it's lambing time and at this time of year I get asked quite a few times every year if I could try and reduce the amount of hooded crows and even foxes on various farms and this particular morning I'm after hooded crows to do that I usually use a dead rabbit split open and this one I think is a little ripe it's definitely been in the fridge a little too long for its own good but hopefully with it and the dead hooded crow that I set up on a little wire cradle as a decoy will bring the other birds down for a shot as hooded crows are quite territorial this time of year so hopefully the sight of a strange bird sitting beside a potential meal in their territory will catch their interest yep that rabbit was definitely by its sell by date now as you can see this is an open piece of hill ground there's next to no cover up here but there is one hedgerow running down along a little stream which you can hear in the background and I've managed to get a pop-up hide called the bush chair hide in under a little tree along this and hopefully it will be sufficient enough to hide me from these hooded crows now the rifle I'm using is a Ruger 1022 M.22 rimfire firing Winchester hollow point subsonics it's quiet and it's accurate but reliability can be a problem sometimes with these semi-automatics but it's a better tool for the job than an air rifle, even the FAC, as the wind up here can pick up very suddenly and these crows can be hard enough to shoot at the best of times. My first opportunity of the morning. But he's not happy and he's moving all over the place which is making life very hard to keep him on camera for the shot I have to be patient and wait for him to stand still because I don't want to fluff the shot otherwise they might not come back again it's a good shot and the first bird's in the bag A magpie lands beside the bait and even though they are on my list I don't want to shoot them while there's still hooded crows in the area because they are my number one target at the minute. Hooded crows can be very vocal at the sight of a dead bird so I usually leave the shot birds out where they've fallen. I finally get another opportunity. He's a wee bit further away, just the other side of the bank. But I managed to squeeze a shot off and hit him in the chest. He flies off but he doesn't get too far and crash lands in the reeds on the left hand side of the picture. You can see how the other birds are hovering over that area, which gives me a good indication of where he's dropped. The other birds find a safe place to land up on top of the electric pylon. I know this place is fairly remote but I'm not willing to take a shot that high above the skyline.
A third bird lands, but he's only given me a headshot. I was pretty sure he was going to walk up the bank any moment and give me a much easier shot at his chest. But nope, he had other ideas. Another magpie landed, and since by now the hooded crows had cleared off, I decided to take him. But unfortunately, I got the dreaded click and no bang. Magpie semi automatic 1022 nil. Now the morning's moved on quite a bit, and it's been quite quiet for a while, the hooded crows seem to have moved off. So I decided to try one last thing. I went out and I took one of the crows that I had shot this morning, put it in the little wire cradle, and set it over the top of the hooded crow that I had used in the cradle this morning, and made the two of them look as if they're fighting, hoping that this might jeer the hooded crows back into response again. And what do you know, it seems to have caught their attention. Now, let's see if one of them will land and give me an opportunity. Where on earth did he go? Ah, there you are. Now just hold still a second. Number three in the bag, finally. Well, let's see how I've done. That's the last bird I shot. <coughs> Actually, took my second bird. Or is this the first bird I shot? Oh, this is the first bird I shot. Set him up in the decoy cradle and over the top of the decoy bird to make them look as if they're fighting and uh, it worked a treat and how many's mate landed and I was able to get one of them at least there was a third bird shot uh, beside the bait and I don't know, he's away down in there somewhere I was over there a minute ago and found him so I'll go and get him on the camera there he is there Yeah, it was right and well hit. So he got. Where is my bait? Ah, good bet. He must have got about 40 yards or more and dropped dead. Well, he's at least. He's uh, in the bag. And of course, once you've finished, tidy up after yourself. The farmers will be more than enough pleased that you've actually shot something, but they don't want to see dead bodies strewn all over their fields. Ok, it's not the biggest bag of crows, but when it comes to decoying hooded crows out in this open hill ground, I'm more than chuffed with what I've got. <laughs>